Why not paint a styrofoam hummingbird now? You see this orange part here? I'm thinking about making it orange or making it yellow. So I thought maybe I would recreate the orange but a little lighter because that orange is a little bit lighter. I guess when it dries it will be less lighter, but duh. It's alright, because I don't care. So I'm literally making it all across and making an orange, a thick orange line across the hummingbird's neck because that kind of looks cute. See? It's looking cute. I'm gonna, gotta put some yellow on this little green part here of the wing. And it's not looking yellow. But when it dries, it's probably gonna look yellow. So, the neck is, I, I literally colored the neck orange. I feel like I just, I need to do a little bit of blending action. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that, the tail, the two, the yellow and the orange are blending together in the tail. So you see that little spot here that's blending together. Wow, well, that's beautiful. You know, it's gonna take a little time for me to use that green. Well, why not step on the blue? Because I need to use this blue. So its head, I decided that the head would be blue instead of this weird purple. The purple is a little bit weird. I don't like how it has that purple. I'm gonna add another coat. Because sometimes it just, the color just goes through. I, I, don't, I don't like that little hole there. I'm gonna fill that little hole with paint. Then I just excess on the middle right there. Oh my god! The water immediately turned green. You know how yellow and blue make green. And kind of make and make a little ring around the a green ring around the tail. Ring around the tail. Ring around the tail. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That was a little, I can see, I can see better than that. Under the tail is mostly green. I decided that the tip, the, like, the side of the wing right there is going to be blue because that looked red. And the other side is the same thing, so I got to do that and look. So I decided to switch to the yellow a little bit, so now part of the wings will be different from the tail and also the bottom of the tail. It's green. <laughs> well, I'm going to take a little bit of the green. You know, I'm going to have a little green edge right here. Nice green edge. Like a butterfly. A little green edge like a butterfly so I'm fake em. I'm gonna put a little bit of white on this thing you see that white part I want that to be white so apparently I decided to put a tad bit of white on the blue to make it look light blue under it 
messy because when it flaps its wings up, the, the light is literally just hitting it and the wings. So I want to make that little light effect. So now this thing just needs to dry. Bye guys. Bye. And give a thumbs up and please subscribe. I can't wait until the next one.